Hello, everybody. Welcome to What's Old Saturday, finally. Welcome to What's Old Saturday. After however many weeks. Finally, we... after like two months or something that we haven't been doing one of these. It's been too long. I've missed it. I've missed you. But we promised that we would do one, so here we are. Here you go. We're doing one. <laughs> and this What's Old Saturday is covering the last week, which is the week of the 11th through the 17th. If you haven't seen a What's Old Saturday before, they cover the last Saturday through the last Friday before the Saturday that you're seeing them on. And yeah, that's about how they work. We tell you what sold mm -hmm. and we tell you what they sold for. And then at the end, we tell you our gross and our net for this week in our Poshmark sales. Like I said, the first day is the 11th. Do you want to go first? I will because I had six on the 11th. I it was a good sales I had week. three. First on the 11th was this new tag, Alexander Wang off the shoulder a bodysuit this had a little like hole right here um my mom couldn't fix it unfortunately so i just listed it as is and i still sold it for 35 dollars and she left me a very nice little note thank you next was this champion from the personal collection uh vintage red crew neck spell out pullover i let it go for 16 just because we have a lot of like bulkier things right now in our posh room and we need to kind of like Get rid of some of those. So, I mean, yeah, so if you're interested in some jackets or oh sweaters, my God. literally send me an offer. I'll take we'll it. take lower <laughs> offers than Guess probably normal. Our back is breaking, literally. <laughs> Next was this St. John Classic Santana Knit Blazer. Same situation. Loved it. Don't have enough room to keep it. Somebody might as well enjoy it. 60 bucks. I made 48 Next on the 11th, this went to Emily. Hey, girly. Um, it was this new tag, Free People Switch It Up, Cuff Long Sleeve. This sold for 30 I made 24 and then she sent me a very nice little note. Thank you, Emily. Um, next, another one of my old champion sweatshirts. Um, a champion vintage maroon spell out crew neck XL. Sold for 20 I made 16 Um, Next is this coach pink silk monogram scarf to Willy. Sold for 30 I made 20 to 20 And that was from the bins. So it's like being handed $20 was amazing. Okay, and that's it on the 11th. <laughs> my first on the 11th was a good start to the week, a start that I like to see. It was a pair of Lucky Boots in tan yeah. brown, she is what I said. She has full comeback in 2020. <laughs> These she offered me 62 and I gladly accepted, unless maybe I might have sent it out. Either way, it was some kind of offer. And so I got 49.60 and got five stars already. Tory Burch Patent Cream Ballet Flats. These sold for only $15, but they were in really rough shape. And so I got 12. I actually just today at the bins found like the same exact pair. What size are the ones that you found? Looked like a similar size. I think the new ones are a bit smaller. These were a nine and a half. And basically the same condition. Probably a little better, but pretty close. So yeah, that's a thing. Oof. <laughs> um, this Athleta Gray Henley hoodie. Sold for 20 bucks and gave me 16. On the 12th, I had Uno Dos. I had well. three on the 12th. <laughs> okay, first on the 12th for me was a pair of Lululemon Astro Wonder Under Pant Full On Luan. I got no idea what any of that means. That is a copy paste title from the Lou Fanatics. Um, sold for 30, I made 24. Next was, oh, it was kind of sad to see these go, but like, I'm glad that somebody else is going to enjoy them. Um, it was a $100 bundle. For an Anthropology Vanessa Virginia beaded Monaco top is what it was called. And then an Anthropology Elevenses embroidered velvet bomber. Both of these were just so cute. They were so perfect for spring coming up. Um, she offered me 100 and I said, thank you. And I made 78.20. So the first for me on the 12th was this Brahmin almond embossed leather tote bag. Almond is what Brahmin calls all their brown bags, which is what you usually find. So mm -hmm. just if you ever find Brahmin in brown, put almond in the title. And this sold for $150 and gave me 120. And thank you to the viewer that sent me a dust bag that I could send with this. That's amazing. I she sent me two and I had just found two Brahmin. So like, beautiful Bless. next was this pair of new free people royale flats i oh took a God, gamble Bolo. on these <laughs> i found them in a consignment shop for 17 full price i looked them up they were still on the website for 198 and i looked up comps and people were selling them for like 90 was the lowest and like up to 170 so i took the chance i do not usually like to spend that much on really anything to resell and in two days 100 bucks offer gave me 80 dollars and she gave me five stars and said they're super cute so that was worth the gamble mm -hmm. 
Free People Distressed Denim Sweater Jacket. And this is a sweater jacket because the sleeves were sweaters. This sold for 40 duelas and gave me 32 oh, and she gave me five cute. stars. I see these all the time in like blue, green, really? and black. Yeah, at like consignment stores. I don't know why. Oh, and like a lot of people okay. find them. I've seen them on Instagram. So these mm. are a pretty common free people thing, a I free guess. Free people piece. 13th, I had five. I had one. Okay, so, you know, hey, every sale is a good sale, you know, days. very accurate. Um, my one and only on the 13th with these new attack J. Crew Eddie Classic Leather Loafers, good thing, because I'm almost positive. Those ones would, that we always sell. If I would have kept these any longer, my mom would have taken them. She is a J. Crew mannequin as a person, and she's a size seven and a half, so thank God. <laughs> um, so for 35, I got 28. <clears throat> So, my first on the 13th was this blank NYC pink velvet moto jacket. This was cute. It was super cute. I was so excited to find it. And then when I looked it up, comps weren't the best. Oh, and, like, I, I forgot blank this. NYC is always so cute. And it, it for some really reason, it has, it. like, no resale value. Even when it's free people, I have a pair of free people blank NYCs. They're getting, like, no attention. So, I don't know what it is with blank you. NYC. But... Luckily, this actually sold in like less than a week, and she offered me thirty dollars. I had listed it at forty, and that gave me twenty four, and she gave me five stars. Uh, also, cue the Instagram picture. <laughs> We're oh in yeah, here. this was that was, was actually in, in my Instagram picture. picture for new items move in, old items move out. We love a clever caption. <laughs> <laughs> um, up next is my Notori silky button sleep shirt. This sold for 20 bucks and gave me 16. She offered me 20. I don't know, it wasn't, Notori can be like really cute prints. This was just mm -hmm. navy, so five stars. Athleta Reflective Skinny Leggings sold for 25 and gave me 20. I thought these would do so much better, but they didn't. Oh, and I she offered me that. 25, so I took it quickly. Host pick, Isatapia Leather Winston Floral Ankle Boots. Oh, these, these are, are so, so cute. Pretty. They retailed at like 450, so I did pay up like $20 for them. Totally worth it. It did take a while because people don't know what Isatapia is, but I gave them to her for 75, which gave me 60. And probably could have got more, but you know, I've had them for a little while. And they're on the shoe rack and that shoe rack makes me nervous because it's gonna fall. <laughs> and my last on the 13th was this new tag Free People and Levi's 501 Skinny Jeans. These sold for 45 and gave me 36. That was an offer. Heck yeah. Okay. How many did you have on the 14th? One. I had three. Okay. First on the 14th was this bundle. I knew these would sell in a bundle. It was two pairs of Sam Edelman Gemma Glam Glamiator Gladiator sandals in brown and black. And in each of the descriptions, I put add the bundle with the other pair and I'll send you an offer. She did just that and I sent her an offer of $45 and I made 36. What'd you list them both at? Um. 30 and 35. I listed one of them at 30 and one of them at 35. The one at 30 because there's a little bit of wear on this hoe. So that is a good deal if you bundled those. Nothing major. Um, next was this Anthro Meadow Rue Cartagena. I don't know how the heck you pronounce some of these. Cartagena? Cartagena embroidered tank. This is a Ben's fine. I knew I really wouldn't get a whole lot for it just because it was like just a tank top. Um, I got 15 and I made $12. Speaking of low dollar sales, but da -da -da. <laughs> um, I sold this J. Crew black, white window pane infinity scarf, also a bins find. Um, sold it for 20, I got 16. Um, mine on the 14th is pretty, the 14th is rough for me. It was something from my own personal collezioni, and it was actually a gift Ryan had given me, and I probably got not as much as he paid for them. It's these Fila Black Disruptor 2.0 sneakers. They only sold for 25 and gave me 20. But Fila Disruptors, they've kind of like had their moment. I still love them. And there are people who still love them. <laughs> but, like, but especially like, like black cool, and though. stuff. Yeah. Like the white ones, we get it. The white and the black, Take they're off. now, there's so much more options that are more interesting that you just can't sell the white and the black ones usually for as much as I you. I feel like a, like a little women size maybe. Because like there will always be teenage girls. Yeah. You know? These were like a men's 12. So. Yeah. Okay. Next on the 15th, I had <laughs> four. I had one. And they were this new without tag, a pair of Steve Madden satin blue floral black heels. Um, shout out to Lauren. She was going through my closet when I was home over break. And she said, why do you have these Steve Madden's listed as Sam Edelman? They sold in like a day and a half after I fixed it. Mm. So, bless. Uh, sold for 30. I got 24 <clears throat> Um, on the 15th, my first was another pair of Lucky Boots. These were in army green. And they did have some like 
lines or scuffs to them. So these ones only sold for 40 and gave me a 32. Up next was this American Eagle high rise cropped factory destroyed jeans. I don't sell American Eagle jeans too often, but as you can see, these were really like destroyed and funky and cool. Mm -hmm. So, and they were bins, so those were cute. And they sold for 18 and gave me 1440. If you're seeing this phone with a penguin case, it's, it's not phone. mine. We're filming on my phone. I'm borrowing my mom's. Uh, Next was this Jimmy. pink Victoria's Secret flower patch swimsuit. This, this sold in under cute. 24 hours. Wait. Sold for 20. That was an offer. I listed them for 30 and it gave me 16. And the last one on the 15th were these Tory Burch Espadrille wedge sandals. And they sold for 40 and gave me 32. Those they were, were a little dirty, so like that's why I sold Tory Burch that cheap. Yeah, on the 16th, I had four. On the 16th, I also had four. <gasps> okay, first one. Um, this went to a lovely woman who I do not know her real name, but I have her Poshmark username. Um, she bought a bundle of oh, this really pretty, like, because I think I actually like, deleted the pictures, um, like a vintage pink tweed coat, which is super cute, and then a free people bralette. For 35 I made 26 Hopefully 20. I was able to find pictures to put them in there, but if I didn't, it's his fault. No, I have a picture of the bundle, but like, I don't know if you're going to be able to see it very well, sorry. <sighs> um, next was this new tag, Smartwool Dark Berry Cable Knit Scarf. I saw the Smartwool tag in a bin, and I went, Smart snatched it. Wool. We love. Uh, 22 20 Next on the 16th was this new tag, a piece apart, Botanica one shoulder top. I'd never heard this brand before. I found two new tags, a size four and a size eight. I sold the size four revolve. for 45. Yes, it was a revolve thing. That's what I was just gonna get to. Um, the size four sold for 45. I made 36. If you want the size eight, let me know. Um, next was this pair of Levi's Distressed Exposed Pocket Denim Shorts. I'm kind of over the whole like Levi's cut off short thing, yeah. unless it's like original, like from Levi. Um, these hold for 13, I made 10.05, but just like, they're out of my house, out of my life. Okay, and that's it. My first on the 16th was my first, this is shocking, like hold on to your seats, hold on to your butts. First ever Birkenstock I found at the bins were these Birkenstock Maiari leather sandals. Yes, somehow I had never found Birkenstocks, everyone else has. I, this trip I found two, and they probably were in my haul, I'm thinking. Um, they probably were. These Birkenstock Maiari leather sandals sold for 45 and gave me 36. I got five stars like literally 20 minutes ago. Heck yeah. Lululemon white lined shorts. These sold the day I listed them. Lululemon sold for 26 and gave me 2080. I usually wouldn't sell them that cheap, but since it was like an instant sale, like literally less than half an hour, her. F the first offer she sent <laughs> was literally, I would say, under 15 seconds after I listed them. Like, it was so fast. Like, I listed and, like, a notification was already there. So, I'm like, I will go lower, like, a lot lower on my sale. If it's going to be the if it's gonna sell be them in under instant. an hour. And it's easy money, you know? Like, it's not, like, a hard thing to find. Um, next up, these were from the same bins trip in the same bin, right on top of each other. <laughs> diesel underwear, 78 jersey tee, and new tag diesel black label, label graphic tee. Um, they're priced at 30 and 38, I think. Put them in a bundle and just bought the bundle at the 20% off. I think it sold for like 54.40, and so I got 43.52. Yeah, two t-shirts. And then this host pick Nike and Sakai this cable cute. back sweatshirt. New a tag. The front was a sweatshirt, the back was a cable knit sweater. So cute. It was so so cute. cool. Sold for 142, which is what I had it priced at. I've marked it down multiple times. And that gave me 106.81. You had that for a long time. I though. did. I remember so. we moved her. Um I had two on the 17th. I had three. Okay, first was this, it was a Ben's Find. It was an Athleta Lavender Essence Tie Back Tank Top. Sold for 18, I made 14.40. Next was this Revolve NBD, which I had no real idea there was a Revolve brand. I bought it in a bundle on Poshmark to get a discount. <laughs> um, lace off the shoulder crop top, sold for 22, I made 17.60. And then last but not least was a full price sale of this new tag Free People Layered Karen Coral Tank Top. The Karen Tank Top. Coral. Co Kieran, Kieran, the Coral. Kieran Coral tank top. Um, sold, for, <laughs> sold for 28 Karen um, and your kooky coral tanks. I really hope <laughs> the other people at Book Club tell her that. Oh, oh Kieran. Kieran, your tank tab. Or so just coral. kooky and coral. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> Your name's Karen. I'm sorry. We Nothing personal. <laughs> Love you. Uh, so for 28, <laughs> I made 22.40. Okay, my first one on the 17th, another brand that... Chef's Kiss, we love. Beta brand, black, Ooh. straight, legging pants. She does. Which, Good. if you're interested in beta brands and you want some, like, cheaper ones, look up or buy from me the J Crew GG pants. Literally, they're beta brand pants. Like, they're black dress pants that oh, feel like leggings. Yeah, I got them are. in a double zero if you're interested. Mm -hmm. Obviously, double zeros don't exist too often. But if you're interested in cheap beta brands, go after those. Um, this They sold for 50 and gave me 40 and then this Ivory Ella purple tie-dye hoodie sold for 25 and gave me 20 bucks. If you find it and it's just a t-shirt, you can also bring it to Plato's Closet. Oh my god, the Plato's Closet. Any Plato's Closet. Ivory Terrible Ella is good. Very goes off for yeah. Ivory Ella. Okay. It's kind of spooky. So, my gross for the week from Poshmark sales was $1,067.40. Mine was six fifty seven even. Which was good. And after two months of no copyright <laughs> cease and desist from Nintendo, my name. <laughs> I hate my life. Is I'm kidding, I don't. Was eight hundred and forty-seven and thirteen. Okay, my net was five nineteen eighty-four. So we'll just round that up sixteen cents and say five twenty. Boom. There you go. 520 so, bucks in six days. That's it. That's the return of what's on Saturday. We are... We're going to be... <laughs> See you in two months. We're, no, we're going to be home in our apartment next weekend. So, so we're, we're going to have another what's a Saturday. quality what's on Saturday. Maybe With we should white, even well, do a live. A mukbang question mark? Let us know if you want to see a live because we'll be home. So like we can, if we want. Um... It'll be fun. That's all we got for you today. Let us know how your sales were this week. Did you have good sales? Did you have bad sales? Do you, you sell anything? Do one of them do better <laughs> than the other? Thank you for watching. Bye. We'll see you Tuesday. Yes. Happy MLK something. Day, everybody. And thank you, everyone, for watching my yes. five-day challenge. Bye.